Hi, we are very excited to share something with you today. I have Gordon Kaufner, the product manager of VTD here with me. Gordon, uh, what are we doing here today? We are here to kick off a video series talking about which challenges ADAS engineers are facing today and how Hexagon helps solve the problems of tomorrow. Many of you, many of the ADAS engineers in the industry may know our simulation software called VTD. It's a very established software in the environment simulation market. But you may have also noticed that we've been very quiet recently. And that's because we've been working on a brand new product behind the scenes called VTDX. So there's a surprise for you. This is great news for the automotive industry. So give me a one minute version of what VTDX is. So VTDX is a scalable and cloud-based simulation tool and it enables you to continuously test your ADAS AD systems. The automotive industry has recognized that testing software is hard, building software is difficult, but there's a high complexity to ADAS systems that we see today. And they need software that easily integrates in their existing workflows, but also allows them to test continuously and is lightweight enough to scale. They want to run thousands or even tens of thousands of tests a day so that they can shorten their test cycles and speed up their development time and actually release quality software at the right point in time. Okay, so here comes a little bit of an awkward question for you, uh, but I know everybody's thinking along the same line. So why are we working on a brand new product when we have a viable product, VTD, in the market that has been helping the automotive industry for the last 15 years? We could have taken the existing software and slapped a nice cloud-native label on it and be done with it, right? That would have been the easy route, but we wanted to make sure we meet the market demands today. And we have an opportunity here, so we can really go back to the drawing board. We can take a look at what is our core expertise, how can we apply the latest tech stacks to it, and what we can we do to ensure that our architecture is state-of-the-art. This is what we did. Also. User-centric design wasn't very prevalent in the past. And to be honest, we need to take our users' needs into consideration and we need to make sure that they are at the center of everything we do. They are actually the ones that are using the software day-to-day -day basis. And those, those are the people's lives that we want to make easier in the end to provide better ADAS systems. You mentioned the technological leap. Uh, so what's this tech leap and what are we expecting to see within VTDX? Yeah, so the, the technological leap. So the ADAS market is constantly changing and evolving and there's a high complexity to ADAS AD systems and testing ADAS AD systems, right? There's the software-defined vehicle stacks uh, becoming more and more prevalent. Uh, we have a higher number of sensors, a higher number of actuators. And in general, we as a company, we need to be able to keep up with this growing demand, but also with changing requirements. That obviously means that our workflows need to be set up to do that. Um, but it also means that we need, to, we need to work with the latest and greatest tech stacks and technology that's available. This is where we're applying things like the Unreal Engine for photorealistic rendering, or we're embracing open standards with DDS and, open, and increasing our support for open scenario. And on the other hand, we're also looking at the cloud native technology stacks. Of course, right? We have to deal with the latest technology on that front in order to be scalable and lightweight and easily integrated. What should our customers expect now? Yeah, so we'll, we'll have multiple of these videos coming up in the next months. And uh, we'll be diving in, in each video, we'll be diving in, in a specific topic. Um, this is the format we, we thought of. And uh, you will hear from different experts from our team. And uh, I'm very excited to kick off this video series. Some of the topics that we'll be, that we'll be hearing about are CICT integration, uh, it's uh, cloud infrastructure, uh, photorealistic rendering, I already mentioned before, and uh, much, much more. So stay tuned for these videos and uh, yeah, I'm excited for what's to come.